am uh, Sangram Shinde uh, from uh, Department of Mechanical Engineering, KIT's College of Engineering, Autonomous Kolhapur. Here today we are going to discuss resources and development of power in India, in which the detailed knowledge uh, I am going to give about the hydroelectric power plant. So you can see the map uh, on the screen. So what are the uh, hydroelectric power plant which are present in our country? So you can see exactly uh, the Koena Dam uh, in Maharashtra, Bakran angle from the Himachal Pradesh. So number of dams which are shown on that. So we are getting the electricity from this particular uh, hydroelectric power plant. So total power which is generated now in India about it is four lakh uh, twenty thousand megawatt. From which about 46,000 megawatt it is coming from the hydroelectric power plant. So detailed again uh, the state wise how many dams are available in our country it is detailed uh, is given in that particular graph. So the issues uh, while developing the hydroelectric power plant these are shown here. What are the uh, while developing because the hydroelectric power plant there is a pollution less or we can say very less pollution is there. So that we are focusing on that but somewhat difficulties are there. So you can see the difficulty in accessible the location because always what is the location for this hydroelectric power plant it is always from the any city. So land acquisition problem so if, when the location is finalized and it is uh, uh, near to the uh, that particular number of villages are available in that location. The, then to uh, this land acquisition problem is there so that again the government has to uh, displace this all these villages from this location and we have to uh, construct the dam at that location. So again there is a second problem it is the land acquisition problem is there. Then resettlement and rehabilitation issues are there because again uh, resettlement of these all these uh, villages is uh, again the problem it is the pressure on the government. Then law and order situations may be there due to this uh, uh, resettlement of these all these villages the people from the all the uh, villages. Then geological surprises if the location is finalized and in that uh, there is a geological uh, surprises can be shown uh, then there is a problem because again we have to uh, change this location if the geological surprises are there. Then interstate disputes are there the good uh, example is like Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra uh, everyone knows that is the main dispute is there. Issues on the appropriation of project cost among various beneficiaries. So how much cost we have to give this for the land again there is a problem and a uh, major problem is the very uh, excessive burden because cost is uh, more cost is required for this to construct any hydroelectric power plant. So these are the issues when we are going to construct any hydroelectric power plant this is the major issues which is shown uh, in our country. Next while site selection somewhat uh, number of things we have to see so uh, like pr primary investigation is required in that final investigation is there. Then hydrological uh, investigation is required in that, topographical investigation is required, geological investigation, head requirement. So what is the head available at that location where we are going to uh, construct the hydroelectric power plant. Then foundation, what is the foundation because it is very important part where we are going to construct the dam, the foundation should be robust one. So again there is a problem these investigations are required. Arrangement and type of dam, intake, conduits, surge tank, powerhouse. So in that location how we can construct the dam, what are the locations for the intake, the conduits, the surge tank are appropriate we have to check. Then transportation facilities required because it is away from the uh, that particular city. So in uh, hilly area, hills are there, what is the location what we are going to uh, select it is the hills are there so that again transportation is very difficult for this. So what are the facilities are av available so that we can construct uh, transport this. Uh, instruments and uh, what are the things which is required for this construct the dam it is very important and the cost of the project again the very cost what is the availability of the budget uh, it is very important part. So these uh, somewhat uh, parameters which we have to select for this particular uh, site selection criteria. Then hydrological uh, investigation what is this it is the water availability what is the location we are going to finalize what is the water available at that location. Then water storage how we can store the water if you see the good example is the Koena dam it is about 105 uh, TMC uh, power plant is there it is a good uh, example. So after uh, 90 TMC after collecting the 19 TMC uh, in rainy season afterward due to this uh, the water is coming again even if the rain is stopped 
the water is continuously collected in that particular storage area. So, uh, likewise, we have to select the uh, water storage. Water head, what is the water head is available at that location? Then, ground water data, we should know because even if the rainy season is not there, the water should be coming inside the storage area in the dam. It should not be go away from the dam. So, likewise, this is the hydrological investigation is required before going to uh, install any hydrolytic power plant. Then topographic investigation is required in that in uh, what is the catchment area is required. Ground or aerial surveyor method is generally uh, used while uh, uh, selecting this catchment area. Okay. So, this is the topographical investigation means what is the topography at that location where we are going to construct the hydrolytic power plant this is required. Next geological investigations are also required in which the basic basin it should be ample size it is uh, ample size is there or not. It again it is check a narrow outlet required a dam of less volume. Uh, so, outlet should be narrow because we have to construct the dam if uh, uh, surrounding hills are there is not it, but there should be a narrow opening and the foundation should be good. So, that at that narrow opening you can uh, construct the dam. So, we have to check then a strong foundation should be there to construct a dam safe and ample spillways. So, there should be a location where we can uh, this construct the spillways, availability of the material to construct the dam. So, nearby uh, we should have this uh, material should be available. Then this is the classification of the hydrolytic power plant, runoff river type without poundage means the run uh, river is there, it is a uh, water is running in that particular, but there is no any pound. So, we are constructing the dam in rainy season only we can generate the power, but uh, pond, pond is not there, so that in summer season again we cannot uh, generate the uh, electricity. Runoff river uh, uh, plant with the poundage means uh, aside this, uh, beside particular this uh, river there is a pond, so that in rainy season we can store the water in the pond and in the summer season we can when the water is less in the river, then we can utilize this water from the pond. Then pump storage power plant, the storage type, it is a Koina dam, it is a good uh, example of the this power plant, it is a storage type. Pump storage means uh, this is a storage type power plant in uh, when the peak power is required in morning and uh, evening session, when the in the cities more power is required, then the power water is circulated, it is a sent through the pen stock to the power house. But in middle uh, uh, time means what uh, after 10 am evening we can pump back that water to the uh, main dam so that this power can be restored. So, this is the pump storage power plant we release power plants are available and mini power plant which we can say which having the 5 to 20 uh, meter head which is available and micro power plant which we can say uh, less than 5 meters. In the Jammu and Kashmir uh, or in Himachal Pradesh this mini and micro power plants are available. You can see this diagram. So, in which uh, the main power plant or main dam is shown, the dam is constructed here, then track rash is there. What is the track rash? Trash rack is there. What is the trash rack? The trash rack is uh, one uh, we can say where we can collect all the mud and sediment particles which should not be entered in the that particular conduit or the pen stock or otherwise it will be uh, there may make a problem to this pen stock also and also turbine. If, if you see the Koina dam very large trees and uh, very high quantity of mud is coming uh, with the water uh, toward the dam. So, it should be collected by the trash rack and so that it is not uh, going to enter. Then penstock is there surge tank. What is the importance of the surge tank is that when the continuously we are uh, opening and closing the wall of the water which is going to the turbine. Suddenly stoppage of the water may be increase the pressure in that particular conduits or we can say inside the pen stock. So, a pen stock can be burst if the excessive pressure is there due to the suddenly uh, stoppage of the wall or we are suddenly closing of the wall. In that case, the water uh, from the pen stock will be collected in the surge tank. Okay, so, excessive pressure will be released. So, it, it is a safeguards this particular pen stock. And again, uh, we can say what is the uh, when the power is started, when the water is started, then again at initial level very less water is available in the pen stock, then from the surge tank we can uh, give the more water for the power generation. Then we can see the power house uh, where the, the reaction turbine, impulse turbines are available 
and there is a second reservoir is also there where we are collecting uh, the power uh, water after uh, generation of the power and there is a power house we can see we are uh, generating the electricity in the power house there is a turbine and also generator to generate uh, electricity so this is the general diagram of any hydrolytic power plant so you can see again this is the hydrolytic power plant in which uh, turbine is shown the main uh, dam is there then water is uh, coming over the turbine above this there is a generator generally it is a below uh, we can say earth uh, generally in coina dam also to take that that much and the draft tube is also there you can see and this is the second uh, reservoir is also shown in that okay so this is the general arrangement of any hydroelectric power plant so these are the we can say components of any hydroelectric power plant this is the reservoir is there the dam pressure rack where it is seen what is the function the four bays after the dam the four bays are required so you can see in the koina dam also the four bays are there which is connected to the uh, penstock and the penstock is connected to the powerhouse then surge tank is there we already seen in the diagram the surge tank penstock this is the pipes of different material it is not uh, like um, uh, metal only it is a uh, reinforced uh, reinforce material is there uh, to sustain that much pressure the penstock is there to carry uh, the water to the powerhouse the spillways which are the some uh, ways are required somewhat uh, ways to uh, we can say in rainy season when the more uh, water is there then we should carry away convey the water through the spillway so that it, sh it should not be harmful for the dam the excessive pressure is coming on the dam due to the high water level then we are using the spillways to carry out the water uh, from this particular dam then power house and draft tube draft tube we already seen the draft tube it is a conical tube to uh, carry away the water from the turbine because very uh, whole pressure very less pressure will be available inside the turbine after uh, uh, getting the mechanical energy so to remove the water from uh, the turbine because very less pressure is there available in the water because whole pressure is utilized to convert into the mechanical energy so to uh, carry out this water outside we require the draft tube 